Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday once again. The week goes by so fast, doesn't it? This week I have got three projects for you featuring Hello Harvest. Really cute stamp set. Um, the dies were on back order for a little while, but they're in stock right now. The paper is on low inventory, last time I checked, which was this morning. So if you love the paper, which I'm gonna show you in a little while, make sure you order it sooner than later. I've got um, lots of things to tell you today. I was trying to get my iPad to come up because there's a couple of things I want to show you on the Stampin' Up! website. Um, hello, everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you. Let me make sure I've got everything turned off and down. Um, you know, I got some cards this week. Let me just show you those real quick. Um, really pretty card. Again, let me pull these out of the envelope. Now, you know what? I lose sometimes... Sometimes y'all don't put the names on the inside and I don't know who's it. Is. I think these are Chris's. Yes, Chris. Look at this beautiful, very vanilla card. It's a shaker, all vanilla. It has a new Fitting Florets frame on there. And that cute little embossing folder. I forget what it's called, but so cute. Monochromatic, all one color. And then here's another one. I don't know what that stamp set is called, but gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Thank you, Chris. Um, always lovely. Always lovely cards from Chris. All right, here's a fun Halloween card. This is from my downline, Gina, featuring that bewitching bundle we used last week. Lots of fun Halloween things going on. We need um, a spider web die. We need that back. Remember, we had a cute little one last year. We need it back. She embossed that hat, too. Very cute. Gina, thank you so much. And then, wait a minute, is that from Gina? Yeah, Gina. Sometimes I try to put these in the envelopes and then I forget and then they get mixed up. So if I ever say a name wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so, I'm a mess. This is from Nina. Nina always has cute things too. Look at that, the scary silhouettes and there's a little spider inside. Fun getting Halloween cards in the mail. It's fun. Ooh, I like that moon too. The moon is kind of shimmery. I can't tell what that's cut with, but that's beautiful. So thanks guys, very nice. All right, I see you guys jumping on. Hello, hello, good to see you guys. Um, I wanna show you this month's paper pumpkin. I'm gonna go ahead and turn things around um, because this paper pumpkin kit, I sat down and put it, put mine together because I was seeing them online and I had to do mine. Super cute. So let me um, just turn you guys around real quick. Um, those of you who are paper pumpkin subscribers, I would assume that you have gotten your kit. I'm one of the last ones usually to get my kits. How cute is this kit? Look at the little Santa. Look at him. He's so cute. And it's got this I know lots of dimensionals and um, just, I, I love this kit. The stamp set is really good too. It's got that Santa stamp. It's got this silhouette. It's got Mary and Ho-Ho. It's got some words. Um, this one also uses the Santa face. It's got these little snowflakes that are kind of like our snowflake embellishments that we have in the catalog. And then the last card, I, I messed it up. So if you know what I did to mess it up, don't say, just pretend like you don't know but it's still cute. I love word dies. I love word dies. Um, this kit, the subscription period is over, um, but if for some reason you didn't get your kit, maybe your credit card didn't go through or whatever, please let me know. I have a couple, just a couple this time, um, and I would love to get it out to you. Um, Paper Pumpkin, by the way, the next month is going to be Christmas too. Where did I put that paper? Right here. Um, next month, so this is this month, and this is next month's. Um, so if you like Christmas, make sure that you have subscribed. Um, I'll have a link here in the video when I'm done. And there are these little add-on sacks too. I need to, um, remember to add those onto my next order. They're very cute. I'm going to put that on my computer so I don't forget. Okay. So that's paper pumpkin. I ordered another kit that I want to show you guys. I feel like I'm blind. I'm not seeing comments. Okay, there we go. This is the birthday card organizer kit. Is that what it's called? Birthday card organizer kit. And it is so nice. It's really big. One of my Club Create members chose this as her um, rewards this month. And when it came, I was like, um, 
uh-oh, this isn't going to fit. It's too big. So we had to adjust her shipping a little bit. It's really heavy too. So a birthday card organizer basically is a really clever idea. It's a notebook and you label the months, right? And let's say this is September. You would write down the names of people you want to send cards to, whoever has birthday cards in September. And then there's a pocket right here for you to put the cards in. It makes it really easy. And there's a card, a pocket up here. Look, of course, it's a black and white gingham, so you guys know I love it. But you could put stamps in here, address, list, whatever. Um, but it's got it's got a page for every month. And it comes with all this stuff that you can decorate it as well as cards for you to make. And there's no stamping in this kit. This is a non-stamping kit. So this kit, I think, would make a fantastic gift. We all have those people, right, who oh, we don't know who, who to buy, what to buy for them. Specifically, girls my daughter's age, if you have nieces, nephews, grandchildren, you know, like what in the world do I buy them? My girls, even though they want to have nothing to do with stamping up because it's mom's thing, they love this kind of stuff. A kit, they love to sit down and do a kit. So this would make a great gift. It's got all this little stuff. You can personalize your little notebook. Um, like I said, there's no stamping. It's stickers and die cuts. And uh, anybody can do this kit. So I want to show you online where look it even comes with adhesive i want to show you online where to find this this is also the box that the kits come in is so good um i just want to buy a bunch of kits so that i can have a bunch of boxes all right let me pull up my um stampin up website and i'm going to show you guys all right stampin up.com okay yes cookies okay so these three lines up here right? You click on that and then you click um, shop products. Now there is a couple of shortcuts here and one of them happens to be kits. So if you uh, click that, it's going to show you all the kits that we have. Um, we have different kinds of kits, card kits, crafting kits, and then this, this little kit has its own little category, birthday card organization kit. And it's only $25. I think that's a really reasonable gift price range. And it has, a, it's like, I'm telling you, it's heavy and it's big and it feels expensive. <laughs> I mean, whoever you give that to is going to be like, wow, that's a really nice gift. But also, if you like kits or you want to give other people kits, there. look through these. Stampin' Up! has been adding a new kit, which almost seems like monthly they are adding a kit. Um, and when they, when they sell out, they're gone. Like, they just take them off the website. And I guess if they get more in stock, then they add it back. Um, admittedly, I don't check the website very often um, in the kit section, but there's some really good things in here for kids, for adults, for both. Um, so I just want to make sure you guys knew about the kits because they're nowhere in the catalog. Also, you know what I'm going to show you also? If you shop products, you can come down to Kits Paper Pumpkin, and this is where you can find all the Paper Pumpkin information. Um, you can get a monthly subscription. You can buy just a one month subscription. You can buy a three month, a six month or a 12 month and pay for it all at once. If you kind of are like, I don't want to give them my credit card and then charge me every month. You can do it that way where you just pay in advance for like, I don't know, maybe three months. Again, that makes a really great gift too. Um, a three month, let's see, a three month subscription. Did I, did I not click on the right one? Prepaid, where is it? Prepaid, right here. Prepaid subscriptions. Um, one month is $22.50. Three month is $67.50. And then you've also got six and 12 month options too. And if you buy those during celebration, which is during January, you also get celebration items on top of that. But that's just a little, just a little insider information. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys where those kits were. I feel like I'm talking to myself. I got to bring y'all back up so I can see you. <laughs> Have any of you gotten these kits? Um, that birthday card organizing, organization kit is probably my favorite one we've had. I love it. Okay, let me run through some things. Um, this month's all-star tutorial bundle happens to also feature the thing that we're featuring today during Facebook Friday. The projects are not the same. These are exclusive projects. There are 12 tutorials in here. They're video tutorials. Um, each one has the supplies 
and um, measurements in both imperial and metric. And I give this free to anybody who spends $50 or more with me online um, in my online Stampin' Up! store. So if you um, are interested in that, just know that today, if you put in an order between now and the end of the month, I will send this to you for free. Mine is a little slider box. And you know, this, this, um, stamp set has this beautiful little flower collection and I didn't use it on any of the projects today, but I did use it on that project. So I felt guilty. I'm like, oh, I should have used that. That's so pretty. Okay. You know, I'm going to leave that sitting out too, because I need to email those out for the week. Okay. Um, Let's, you know what, let's look real quick at the um, Kindest Gnome. I looked just a minute ago and there's only two kits left. If you want my Kindest Gnome kit, I actually usually don't cut, don't cut any of these until after the registration is closed. But this time, because of the retreat that's coming up next month, I have to work way ahead. So I got all of these cut and packed this week. If you already ordered, if you put in an order by this past Wednesday, your kit mailed out today. Um, but it is open until whatever those two kits sell out, probably before the end of this Facebook Live. Um, and then I will have to order y'all's projects and your kits will go out midweek next week. Um, but anyway, it's six cards. And um, I sent out the registration link in an email last night. So if you're on my email list, you should have that in your inbox or your spam folder somewhere. Okay. Um, what's next? Oh, retreat. The retreat to go is my other big thing coming up in November. It has, and I told you guys 15 projects, actually 14 projects. I miscounted. I think that's right. I, I need to ask Deborah because I, I counted 14, but I was saying 15. Anyway, it's a ton of projects. Okay. And this, I haven't even made them all. My downline Deborah and I designed them together. She designed some, I designed some. Um, and they're fantastic. You're gonna have a ton of stuff to do. Um, the retreat to go includes about $50 in product as well as 14 projects. You can get it with the stamp set in um, dies, the Santa delivery bundle, or without. I know some of you already have it, so you don't need it. Um, that has a has a cap on it, and there was only about seven kit spots left so if you want to get this santa's delivery retreat to go make sure you do it asap because it's about to sell out probably by the end of the weekend if not sooner um that email that that link to that was also in the email last night that i sent out um if you're not on my email list make sure you sign up on my email list so you just have all of these things in your inbox already um club create for november features the sweet candy case <laughs> change of subject. I'm going to tell you guys in a minute about my old kit sale. But what I noticed is that we have a lot of things that start with the word sweet, sweet candy canes, uh, sweet gingerbread, sweet strawberry, sweet ice cream, sweet conversations. Like we've had a lot of things that start with the word sweet. I just made me laugh yesterday as I was typing all that up. I realized that. Um, but anyway, this is Club Create for November. I do have a couple of spots open in Club Create for November. Um, Club Create is a subscription club. It is $39 a month. You can um, stay in for however long you want. You can stay in for one month, 12 months, 20 months, whatever. You can cancel anytime is what I'm trying to say. But if you stay in for six months, your sixth month is your rewards month and you get $25 in product. And like I said, um, one of my members picked that birthday organization kit this week as her free, uh, $25 in free stuff. So if you're interested in joining Club Create, you have to email me for that um, subscription link. I don't have it out anywhere. You'll have to email me because I'm trying to keep the number um, within a certain you know, number. I don't want it to get too high. Um, but anyway, that's that. You have until November 7th. Scri subscription period for that is open November 7th. Till November 7th. Okay, so what I was telling you guys a minute ago, yesterday, actually, yesterday, the day before, the day before that, the day before that, I started going through all my extra class kits. And why do I have extra class kits? Well, because every time I cut a class, to go, I cut a couple of extra just in case because sometimes they get lost in the mail. Sometimes they arrive 
filled with water. We've had that. One time we had one filled with ants. <laughs> so I have to have extras just in case one arrives destroyed, right? And a lot of times they don't get used. So I just save them. I put them in a box. I store them. And I try, I was trying to sell them ex the extra kits about once a year, but it's a lot of work and it's just gotten away from me. So it's been probably two and a half, maybe three years since I have sold extra class kits. And all of my storage, my allotted storage in the garage that my husband allows me to have, it's a joke. We fight over the garage space. Anyway, um, it's full, okay? So I have got to clear out some space. Otherwise, there's gonna be some problems <laughs> here in the Sirwin house. So I have spent a tedious amount of time sorting, pricing, typing them up on my blog, listing them for sale. Um, majority of them are retired product. Well, they're all retired products. Some of them feature stamp sets that are current, is what I'm saying. But the kits don't include the stamp set or the dies. They will include everything that was included in the original class kit, um, unless stated otherwise. Sometimes things were substituted or something was missing or whatever. Um, and then I will tell you, like this one is the sweet ice cream. See, there's that word sweet again. Sweet ice cream bundle, Club Create Kit. So everything you need is in here to make five projects, except for the stamps and the punch. Um, I have that, look, there's sweet strawberry, um, the Friesen Fun. Another reason I end up with extra kits sometimes is because for Club Create specifically, sometimes I start working on those a week or two before the deadline because I'm trying to get ahead. And so then I'll just guesstimate how many and then I'll guesstimate too many. And then I have, I end up with extra. Um, these are all listed on my, um, on my blog, and I'm gonna show you where, um, to, on today's PDF, you know, I only use my iPad when I'm doing Facebook Live, so I forget how to use it. Um, all the ones that are listed include shipping. The price includes shipping, okay? Now, if you go to my blog, pinkfuckeroo.com, and you see this little shop right here, and you click on that, that link will take you to the Stampin' Up! store, request a catalog, past class kits. That's the one that we just added, PDF store, and then Amazon favorites. But you wanna click on past class kits, and then you'll see them in here. Some of them I might only have one, some I might have three, some I might have six. When they sell out, they disappear from the website, okay? Um, but the price, wow, there's a lot of them that are gone. Um, I had three full pages and now I only have one page and a little bit more. But um, if you're looking for some class kits, um, I don't know, to do, you've got some weekends coming up or gifts for somebody, please shop these kits. I would love to send them to a home that will appreciate them instead of them sitting in the garage in a box. Um, they are fun and you probably have some of the stamp sets. Um, when you click on it, it will tell you, like it'll take you back, you can click and go back and see the original class blog post to get all the details. Um, and then if you decide you don't want the kit but you want the PDF, there's a link to the PDF as well. Okay, so that is that. Um, I will leave those up until they're gone. Um, I will add to them, because I, believe it or not, there were two boxes I didn't get to. I probably won't get to them until the spring, but there's a lot there and I, would love to get them to you guys um, if you would like class kit, extra class kits, okay? Okay, now I need to hurry up because I'm talking too long. Um, we've got this Fitting Florets suite of products coming out next month. We're gonna use this for Facebook Friday on November 7th, is it the 7th? Whatever that first Friday is. Um, it's There's a, a Christmas stamp set, a non-Christmas stamp set, a set of dies, embellishments, and beautiful paper. You guys can't buy this until November, but if you buy a starter kit during October, you can add that to your starter kit, okay? I just wanted to make sure you guys know that because you might see it online. People are posting projects with their stuff. Um, I told you my password didn't work, so I tried to reset my password. It kept cycling and wouldn't. You know, Karen, I don't know about that password thing. Um, my, my blog person sets all that up and I can reach out to him. I don't know because it's hosted by somebody else. Um, yeah, send me an email and we'll see what we can do. If they're still available, yeah, I can I can do that. Um, 
Or you can try a different email. I know I have like five email addresses. Sometimes I just do that if I can't remember what my password is. Okay. Um, starter kit. Last thing I'm going to tell you, the starter kit special this month. We're running out of month. We only have a week left for $155. No, no. I said it backwards. For $99 no shipping, you get to pick out $155 in product of your choice from the current catalogs, clearance rack, or that, that suite I just showed you. Um, and then you get 20% off your own orders or orders you collect from other people. Um, you get to say, you get to uh, earn 20% and uh, you get to be part of my team where you get free PDFs and discounted class kits. Um, if you want information on this, there is a tab at the top of my blog that says join. You can click that. I'll also have that information here. You know, when I'm done, I come back and add all the links. So I'll add that link there as well. So there's only a week left for that, you guys. Okay, we're ready. Let's do prizes real quick. Last week's winners, Tiffany Weekly and Carol Koroleski. You both won the North Pole Mischief. I think I have y'all's mailing addresses, but just please email me or message me. That'll make it faster. And then I'll make sure I have the right um, mailing address. Thank you so much for sharing the video. Um, this week I've got two Jingle 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 stamp sets. Aren't they cute? That's a fun name. Um, this is a really good one and I love it. And I haven't used mine at all. All you have to do is share. You can either share it on Facebook or YouTube. Um, just make sure you type shared in the comments so that I know. And I will, I will pick two people at random next week to win those. All right, we are ready. If you have not joined me for Facebook Friday before, I pick one product each week. This week, it's the Hello Harvest bundle. And we're going to make three projects with it. If you like those projects, um, I will send them to you free as a thank you with an online order. $35 or more, and it has to use this host code right here. This is a weird host code, U, 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 at the beginning, okay? <laughs> I've never seen one like that. Um, the host code is here. It's on today's blog post, and it's on today's free PDF. If you click the shop, like at the bottom of my post today, it says you can shop here. If you click that, it will automatically add that host code to your order. Um, but I'll send them to you next week. They come with everything you, that you need except for this bundle. And also on one project, we're using the Gathered Wheat Bundle. You'll need that too, or sub what you have. You can order anything you want. I don't care what you order. Um, as long as it's $35 or more and it uses that host code, I will send them to you for free. Yes, for free. We love free, don't we? Okay, you guys, I'm tired. I have needed a nap since the moment I woke up at 4.30 tired you guys ever have those days i didn't sleep well last night and then i got up i started reading went back to sleep woke up again started reading couldn't go back to sleep so then you're just kind of like dragging all day you guys know what i'm talking about have you had days like that well after this i want to go lay down and take a nap i don't know if it's possible to take a nap this late in the day and i don't like that my camera is crooked let's see if we can get it straight I don't think I slept well last night because my husband left today on a big trip. He and my brother um, went, oh yeah, that straightened it up, w left to go to a backcountry hunt in Montana for nine days, like living out there on the mountain. <laughs> what is with my family doing this crazy stuff? My daughter, now my husband. And it's going to be really cold, like like below zero. I know you guys always make fun of me, but below zero. And there's bears and those things. And so I didn't sleep well last night worrying about him. So I blame him. It's usually his snoring that causes me not to sleep well. But last night was my own mind getting getting the best of me. So all of you in Montana, I may be calling on you if he gets lost or attacked by a bear or something. <laughs> This is a trip of a lifetime for him. So yeah, it is a long time, Rhonda. And it they're like camping. They're like everything they need is on their back for nine days. I mean, that sounds like H-E-L-L -L to me. Like that is not what I want to do. But he was like a little boy. He just was so excited. So we'll see. And like 13, 10 degrees at night. And I my my brain cannot process that. 
<laughs> I don't know. All right, let's get started, you guys. The first card we're gonna make um, was a swap card I made way back in the summer, that was a long time ago, um, and I had been saving it and saving it until we got to the fall. We're gonna stamp this pumpkin on shimmery white, and we are gonna emboss. I need to make sure I have cleaned this stamp. Um, we're gonna emboss it in gold. I don't use gold embossing powder very much. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate that. Yes, definitely not glamping. No, <laughs> nine days is a long time. I even said to him, and you guys don't make fun of me. I'm from South Texas. I don't understand cold weather. I said to him, are you going to get like frostbite or something? <laughs> I mean, that's like, that sounds dangerous to me. And he's like rolling his eyes. And I said, please tell me that if it gets cold, you guys will go get a hotel. And he said, well, yeah, yeah, we're leaving that option open. Uh, we'll see. You know, when you are late 40s, you don't sleep on the ground very well. So I have a feeling he's going to be like, okay, two nights of this and I'm ready for a hotel. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Back to this, shimmer white cardstock. Usually I use watercolor paper, but we're using shimmer white. Um, because I'm out of watercolor paper, I have a little bit, we'll use it on the next project, but I don't have a lot. You can really use them interchangeably. The watercolor paper has some texture on it that the shimmer white does not, um, but they both work really, really well. Now I use my embossing buddy to remove any of that static um, from that paper that will keep your little granules of embossing powder from sticking in places they're not supposed to for the most part this um kit right here is called the embossing accessory kit and it's in the holiday catalog we have been begging stamping up to bring this back we had a tray many many years ago um i think when i was a brand new stamper and then they got rid of that, and then they got rid of the um, embossing buddy a couple of catalogs ago, and everybody lost their minds, like, what in the world? We need an embossing buddy. So they brought it back in this really cute kit. You'll know your embossing powder is done when you can see the shine. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so this is a good little kit. And this is a good little, like, Christmas present, too. I'm starting to think of Christmas. Can you guys tell? I'm starting to... Think, okay, you know, who's what, who's getting what, who's getting what. Hammock camping is a new thing. The adults that did the AT trail work. Okay, so Lisa, my daughter does that. She, and she said she did not like it. <laughs> and she's very, I call her, she's very granola. Um, she was, she said she was miserable all night. But I don't know. She likes car camping. <laughs> That's what she said. Car camping. But hammock, yeah, you know, what do they call those can't those um Eno's hammock, Eno hammocks? That she has one of those. That's what all the little hipster teenagery people have. Okay, got that a little bit wet. I'm gonna take a little bit of water and put it in here with Cajun Craze. Cajun Craze is my favorite fall color. I know that some people hate Cajun Craze, but don't hate it because it is beautiful especially on fall cards with gold embossing powder now i'm trying to put the heavier color down at the top and the bottom because we're really gonna cover up that middle doing a college trip with environmental science oh yosemite i that we love the national parks mary we love them and uh my daughter is already asking me like, where are we going? Where are we going? And I'm like, well, your father's used all his vacation days. So we're probably going nowhere <laughs> at spring break. Probably, whoops, I got out of the lines. Probably nowhere, but that sounds fun. Ellie, I told you guys last week, she did, um, she did a trip in, um, oh, Arkansas. I forgot what it's called. And she was fine. She, she wasn't, she wasn't even that cold. One girl did fall and got road rash down her face. That may have been two weeks ago. Maybe I already told you guys this. So that was scary. And a guy sprained his ankle. So, you know, that looks bad. I'm out of the lines in two places. But we're just going to go with it because whatever. Whatever. It's fine. We'll die cut it. You won't be able to tell. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to stamp... 
the leaf. And um, yeah, who said that idea of roughing is a two-star hotel? June, I'm right there with you. I am right there with you. And my people like to do crazy things like live on the land. And I'm like, sorry, mom's out. Mom doesn't live on the land. Mom lives in a Hilton. <laughs> Me and uh, my I iPad will go in a Hilton while you guys go out there and rough it with the bears. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see when my husband comes back. You know, he complains about his back hurting in the bed. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to be like, okay, how was the ground for nine days? That just doesn't sound fun at all. Maybe when you're like 20, you know, maybe. But not when you're 46. All right. Now look. My pumpkin's not perfect, but who cares? Nobody cares. It's still fine. Now I want to show you guys this paper. You camped a lot when you were kids, but you like hotel camping for sure. Yeah. Yeah. My husband, I, I, I've been wanting to go to Montana. Um, and I thought about going a couple days and then staying like in the hotel part, <laughs> but he was so intense about the hunting and the I mean, you should have seen him and my brother have been practicing. They've been training. They've been doing ridiculous, ridiculous things um, to get ready for this. I was like, okay, I'm out. I don't, I don't want to be a part of any of that. Let me show you guys this paper. This is, is it called Rustic? Yeah, Rustic Harvest. I absolutely love this paper. When I first saw it, and I will tell you guys, I saw this suite of products when I was working on my million dollar stamp set. This was, they let you look through what's coming. And this was one of the things that I got to look at. And it looked very chalkboard like in, in that presentation, I guess. And I think it looks less chalkboard now. Um, but to me, it, it looks kind of like chalkboard um, with the white and stuff, but it's beautiful and it's on low inventory. Hopefully it hasn't sold out yet, but it's on low inventory. So if you need it for fall, you better get it as soon as possible. Cause we know that things sell out. All right, so I've got a piece of Mossy Meadow and a piece of that beautiful paper. And we're gonna put that here. Now the measurements for this, for these pieces are on, um, Yes, Lisa, email me. Um, I missed what I was saying. The measurements for all these pieces are on that PDF. All right. Then we've got another piece of DSP, designer series paper. Putting that right there. Taking the little strip of mossy meadow, which I made a little bit too long on purpose so that we could just trim it off all right oh hello i was talking you guys i forgot to do this part let's do it real quick i like banners and this one has this big chunky banner with the matching die of course let's bring over the mini that's so much easier and we'll run this through real quick Comments keep disappearing. Why? Um, yes, Joy, my stamp set will be in the spring mini. I'm going to be doing a presentation at Onstage in Arlington uh, with my new stamp set. So you guys will see it soon. I think after that, then I can show you. I think after that, I can show everybody. I think. Very excited. It feels like it's it's been almost... How many years? Has it been two or two and a half years since I hit my million? Maybe two. It takes a long time because they work on the catalog so far in advance <clears throat> that, you know, that when you start working on it, it's like, okay, this is the catalog for 2027. This um black piece is cut with the silhouette dies, those scary silhouette stamp set, you know, the Halloween one. And uh, I love it. It's a great little label. All right, we're going to put that there. And we're going to take this. 
and put this. Now I stamped the banner also on the shimmer white just so that it would be the, the exact right color. The um, shimmer white is not white, but it's also not very vanilla. It's kind of somewhere in the middle um, of that. Yes, um, Michelle, I'm actually halfway to my next million. This one's coming way faster than the other one. Yes, thank you for us for well for saying that I am working hard on it. Okay, so there's that. Now we got to do a little bow, little tiny bow. Do you know if it will be on the? No, Carla, I don't know. I doubt it. I, I don't think it will be. I mean, I could be wrong, but it's not like a main stage stamping. You know, like on. You know what I'm saying? The main main stage. It's just. A local presentation so probably not but maybe who knows that'd be fun all right a little linen thread bow not too big you don't want to overpower your pumpkin and then for the inside because this is a basic black card base we're gonna put a piece of basic white on the inside carry over those leaves and then we'll put it in here. This um, card, the sentiment says, wishing you the loveliest day. I think that could be birthday. I think that could be thinking of you. Thank you. I don't know. That could really go a lot of different directions. Don't you guys think? Okay, there's card number one. Hope you guys like it. We're gonna do another card and we're gonna do some watercoloring again. Let me just clean up a little bit. Make sure I get all of this off of here. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We do not need that. And we do not need that. Okay, we don't need that either. I don't, can't remember if we need this. Oh, I forgot, look, we got embellishments. Go back, go back. We gotta put a few little copper brushed metallic dots right there. I forgot. Now we're done. Now we're done. Okay, next we're gonna do a card that is called a storybook card. I've got too much stuff going on here. Let me move these over here. Storybook card, I can't remember. Um, the first time I saw a storybook card, but I thought it was so cute because of what it, you know, it was called storybook. I thought that was cute. And really, it's not anything fancy. It's, um, it's just adding an extra score line to your card base, okay? So here it is. And see how it opens up? It has a binding like a book. So really, it's just a four and a fourth by 11 card base, and you add in another score line at uh, four and a half inches, and then you adhere that together like that. So it's like a little storybook. And bonus, if you're like me and you hate writing in, in a card, <laughs> now you have a smaller space that you can write on, and you don't have to use as many words. That's for the lazy card sender. Now we're also using gathered wheat. We're gonna use this right here and this right here. And I'm gonna color this gathered wheat, colors that it probably shouldn't be. It probably should just be like crumb cake, but whatever, I'm coloring it different colors because I don't care. I'm gonna be a rebel. All right, first let's do our pumpkin. We're gonna do the pumpkin and stays on this time. We're not gonna emboss. And you wanna use stays on when you are using water. Okay, and we're gonna use those same colors again. I've still got it open. Let's get all the brown out of there. Hopefully I don't run out of water. And we'll just, oh look, it's got a little bit of orange in there too still. Just put a little bit, oh come on. There we go. A Little bit of water. Now this time I am using watercolor paper, but again, Use these watercolor paper and um, shimmer white interchangeably. I really think they both are the same. The only difference is that the watercolor paper is gonna have some extra texture 
and it's thick, it's real thick. All right, my color's gotten too watered down, so let's do this again. Squeeze your ink pad like that. And now we'll just drop that color in. Because we put water already in there, that, that color is going to kind of drop down. All right, now we're going to meet in the middle. It'll be light in the middle. Okay. Now we can close that. Then we'll get a little bit of soft suede for the stem. I have told you guys I love pumpkins. Love pumpkins. I'm like pumpkin obsessed. Don't ask me how many pumpkins are sitting out the front of my house. Don't ask me if I told my husband we needed more stairs at the front of our new house so that I would have more room for pumpkins, because I did. However, one thing that is important, I was gonna say, is that you have to make sure that your pumpkin has a good stem, okay? And don't pick your pumpkin up by the stem because it will break off, and then your pumpkin doesn't look right. Today I was at the grocery store early this morning, and they were unloading pumpkins, and they were throwing them into where they had them, literally like picking up and just throwing it in. I'm pretty sure that's how you break pumpkins. <laughs> I was like, dude, stop. But he just kept on. I don't know. I don't know. I guess he didn't care. Okay. We're going to use this gathered wheat, this wheat that is going to be a different color. So maybe it's not wheat. I don't know. But we're going to color the little... Okay, you agriculture people, I know there's some farmer farmers on here. Tell me, that part, what's it called? The top part, I can't think of it. We're going to color that crushed curry. Then we're going to color the, the other part. <laughs> the stems, the little thingies. We're going to color that with soft suede, okay? And I'm using my Stamparatus. And um, because... When you do this with your stamp and write markers, these are not stamp and blends, these are stamp and write markers. When you do that, the color is kind of watered down a little bit, so I like to layer the color on. I like to do it twice, and that makes the color a little more intense. Now, who said Kathy is sitting at her church pumpkin patch selling pumpkins now? Kathy, that is one of my favorite places ever. Our church does a pumpkin patch too every year and it makes me so happy. And the church pumpkin patches usually have the really cool funky pumpkins with the weird bumps and the weird colors. I love those. We have a, a church close to us, it's not my home church, that has a huge pumpkin patch too. And those people, they're like cars parked down the highway on the weekends. If you guys haven't gone to a church pumpkin patch, you should. They are more expensive than grocery store pumpkins, but they're usually better and they're going for a good cause. Ours is our youth group. It collects, you know, raises money for our youth group to go on mission trips and stuff. Okay, so there's our, I don't know what they're called, but there they are. <laughs> um, yes, Jean, so I we have worked a pumpkin patch many times. My kids... Um, volunteer. Usually I make my husband go because it's hot here this time of year and it's just hot. <laughs> and I don't want to stand out there and sweat. Okay, we're going to cut this out with this die. Again, this is the gathering wheat, gathered wheat bundle, okay? We're going to cut those out of crushed curry. Where's my card? I can't remember what I'm doing. Okay, make sure that was all I needed to cut out. Your pub husband grows pumpkins and has white ones and <gasps> Oh, I love the white ones and the blood. I love all of them. I love all of them. White ones may be my favorite. My mom and I have discovered this little, it's like a garden center here on the outskirts of San Antonio, kind of out, that has an amazing pumpkin. I don't know if you'd call it a patch, but where you can go buy pumpkins. And they have got pumpkins I've never seen before. And we buy them and we buy flat ones and we put them in a stack. It's so fun. All right, let's run this through here. Uh, 
I hope that didn't slip. I wasn't paying attention. So what are, what are peanut pumpkins? Who said peanut pumpkins? Shaft, that was it. The shaft sheet in the sheath of wheat. Okay, now you guys are schooling me. Grows pumpkins and has white and blue. Who, what, who said peanut? Did I say that? Peanut pumpkins, Joy? Cinder oh, yes, I love Cinderella pumpkins. Yes. Yes, I remember, I remember when I first saw a Cinderella pumpkin. The, the pumpkins have gotten really, like, designer <laughs> in the last 10 years. There's really cool looking pumpkins out there. Um, I should show you a picture of all my pumpkins. I'll do that this weekend. I'll show you. My husband takes them. We, we keep all the pumpkins. We don't carve them. We keep them until... Oh, did you guys pretend like you didn't just see that? I'm not even... Okay, good. It's out of, it's out of the focus. I'm not going to tell you what just happened to my cut and emboss machine. I knew it was going to happen one of these days. And I'm not even going to tell you what it was. It's a blooper that we're going to pretend didn't just happen. Okay, come on. I need you to do what you're supposed to do, Mr. Cut and Emboss Machine. Uh, peanut pumpkins have the oblong brown warts that look like peanut shells all over. Okay, Lisa, you, we need a picture of that because I don't know if I know what that is. That makes sense. I think I know. When I got that beautiful pumpkin patch recently that there were some really warty pumpkins and there was a man there <laughs> he said hey like whatever his wife's name is come over here they've got monkey pox uh pumpkin <laughs> so that was really funny okay we're gonna adhere this remember this binding part right here it's not really binding but we're gonna make it look like the binding we're just gonna adhere it down like that okay yeah robin shh Don't say anything. Shh. It did. All right. Okay. Do you guys recognize this? Recognize this paper? Yes, my gingham cottage paper. I'm obsessed. I hope I have enough of this so saffron color because it's the one I've been using a lot. All right. Let's do some little um, speckly dots. Some, you know. It's not splatter, but it's like, a, what do you call it? Like, um, I don't know. Words are very hard for me today, apparently. This little splatter, okay? Crumb cake, and I'm going to do it once in full strength and then do it again in the lighter strength. Stamp off, light. So we have some dark and some light. Okay, now we also have a piece of basic white somewhere. Oh, did I use the wrong piece? No, I didn't, okay. Um, and we're gonna do the same thing here. Okay, crumb cake in the corners, stamp off, stamp off. All right, now we have got a soft suede mat. The top part of the wheat stalk holds the wheat berries and a bundle of stalks of wheat is a sheet. Jean, look at you schooling all of us. That is some very smart knowledge you have. You must be experienced in agriculture. I'm, I'm always embarrassed when I don't know the names of whatever it is that I'm stamping. And I don't even think about it until I'm talking to you guys. And then I'm like, um, I don't know what this plant is called. Thank you for informing us. All right, we're gonna put these two like that. And then these other little, little thingies. <laughs> these other little thingies we're gonna do like that. You know what? Let's put our pumpkin on first. Let's see, is my pumpkin dry? It's dry enough. We're gonna take, okay, I gotta move this. If you're gonna flick ink, you gotta move everything. This is crushed curry dark. And I'm just gonna flick it. We're gonna give it some warts. Okay, see that? All right, we're bringing over the little, the mini today for this, because <laughs> my big cut and emboss machine is now in timeout. Hopefully this fits. Okay, now, Erica, where did you put the dies? Right here. Yeah. 
There we go. I don't know why I can't seem to get everything cut at once. There we go, and it's a little off, but hmm, it's gonna have to do. All right, now back to where we were with our little collage. We're gonna take some dimensionals. It's still kind of wet. I don't know if these are gonna stick. Um, crush curry and and Cajun craze for the splatters. Um, Melissa, I did. Um, this is crumb cake right here, and this I did. Um, this is a dark crush. Um, Cajun craze. We actually don't have a crushed curry Stampin' blend, but so saffron works pretty well in place of crushed curry. All right, so there we've got that. We've got that. Very cute. Now, we're going to use a punch that I haven't used in a while. And do I have any white paper? Look, here's left from yesterday. I do have individual recordings of these projects over on YouTube. So if you want to see something closer up, if you want to come back and watch it without all the chit chat, they will be there on YouTube. They're also linked under the photos. Okay, that looks like it's a little too dark. I need to re-ink my ink pads. All of them suddenly need to be re-inked. Well, I guess that's going to have to do. They both look the same. I needed to re-ink my, my um, evening evergreen ink pad today. Like that. Like, like it was dry. And I couldn't find my re-inker. I have every other re-inker from that in color family, but not that one. I cannot find it. So I couldn't use... My ink pad. So when you order an ink pad, just order the reinker at the same time. Trust me, it'll save you some frustration down the road, like it did today to me when I didn't have the reinker that I needed, and I couldn't use the ink pad that I wanted to use. All right, dimensionals, dimensionals, dimensionals. Center of that right there. This little piece right here. This is actually shimmer white also right there. And last but not least, another little tiny bow. Don't make your bow too big. We don't want to cover up your beautiful pumpkin. Like that. And snip. And a mini glue dot. And take your pick tool. Is not here. Oh yeah, it is right here. Do you guys know the difference between our Stampin' Write markers that look like this and our Stampin' Blends? Stampin' Blends are the alcohol markers. You gotta use those with Memento. They're the ones that blend and shade and do all that. These are like old school markers. They also have a tip that is like a writing, like you could do journaling and stuff. It's kind of like those fine point Sharpies. Um, they come, these come, you can only get them in color families. So if you want soft suede, you have to buy all of the subtles. If you want crushed curry, you have to buy all of the regals. Um, these are good for coloring your stamps, like we did today, coloring on your stamp. Um, they also, what else was I gonna say? You can color with these. I don't think they color as well as these. These you can buy in pairs. Of individual colors so like crush curry when you buy crush curry you would get light and dark I mean Cajun craze you would get light and dark so that's the difference they, they're really used for two different things in, in my craft room anyway and um, if I had to choose between the two I would choose the blends to color however if you're gonna color directly on your stamp you want your stamp to be different colors like we did today you really do need those stamp and write markers, in my opinion. I don't think the stamp and blends work as well. Okay, we're done with that. We got one more project for you. Um, oh, Jody, you just bought the markers. It's fun when you get them, isn't it? It's like, oh, yeah, they're great. We used to sell them. Do we still sell them? We don't still sell them in the whole all the colors, right? I don't think so. I don't think we've done that for a while, but you could get all the Stampin' Up! colors in this big thing. That was fun. 
Okay, last but not least, you guys know that we got to do something pumpkin spice. There is a, there are dies in this die set that make a pumpkin without stamping it, okay? And look, it looks real weird. See how it's got this texture? That's gonna emboss. It's gonna add, add those weird funky textures like we see on those weird pumpkins at the store. You've also got this, um, these little vine, you know, the little curly vines, because a pumpkin grows on a vine, in case you didn't know. So that's that. So what's inside my box, you ask? Well, how about these? We did the apple ones a while back, and I fell in love with those. I'd never had them. So I ordered the pumpkin spice ones, and they are delicious too. So that's what we're doing today. This is, this is the healthy snack. You can give this treat to your healthy friends. <laughs> I mean, let's see how many carbs. It only has 38 carbs. So, you know, depends. Are you counting carbs? Are you counting? I don't know. What are you counting? It depends. <laughs> it's a lot of carbs. Okay, let's make our box first. Let me get my Simply Scored over here. And the measurements for this are on the second page of today's PDF right here. Um, six and a fourth by seven and a fourth. Let's do the long side first. We're going to do three fourths. We're going to do three and a fourth, four, and six and a half. And then turn it to the short side and score it at three fourths and five and a half. Three fourths and five and a half. This is a simple, what I like to call clamshell box. It's the same box we used with the apple fig bars, just in pumpkin pie. You want to get your bone folder, burnish all those lines, and now this is um, symmetrical, okay? It's the same on either end, so it doesn't matter which end you do what. You're going to do the same thing to both sides. You're going to snip these score lines and then just snip off the a sliver of each of the squares. Oh, you've got a, you've got a um, wedding coming up, Lisa. Yeah, when I really need to lose weight, carbs is the way to, to do it for me, cutting out those carbs. But I sure do love carbs. They are delicious. It's very hard. All right, snip, snip. That one I did not cut straight. Snip and snip and snip. One more. All right, here's what your piece looks like. All right, we're going to use liquid glue and some little clothes pens. I'm going to start. And again, it doesn't matter which side you do this to. We're gonna take these tabs and we're gonna fold them up into the side. Like that. All right. Now I'm gonna little clothespin there, little clothespin there, fold these in. Close pen, close pen. Now over here, you've just got two left and we're gonna do the same thing to this side. Make sure your edges are even. All right, now let that sit for a little while. I want to make sure that my do not disturb doesn't go off. I set it for an hour and it's going to be more than an hour. All right, let's cut out all of our little pieces. Um, I think we can use our little cut and emboss machine for this. If my paper is not too big, we'll start with our pumpkin pie. Let's cut it in half. And we've got these two pieces, that one, and we'll have to do this two, we'll have to run this through twice. 
All right, so pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie. Whoop, stay, oh, come on. Careful, careful. Okay, ah, come on. There we go, careful. All right, so now there's your textured pumpkin. One piece and the other piece. And now we will, okay, well, no, do not disturb. Hold on, turn that back off. Do not disturb, on, okay. Because if I get a phone call, then it'll drop our Facebook Live and everybody will be mad. And then I'll be like upset. And we just need about really like maybe five more minutes. Just five more minutes. All right, the little stem has some texture too. And there's our little, little curly Q. Now, um, we also are gonna cut out a heart. And hopefully I haven't lost it. Oh gosh, it almost fell off. This heart is from the Welcome Home, Warm Welcome. I can never remember, is it Warm Welcome or Welcome Home? The new bundle that was released for card making day. I think it's Welcome Home. This is a heart from that die set. All right, now, let me make sure my dies don't get lost. You're gonna also need a basic white stitched rectangle and a craft stitched rectangle. And now all we're gonna do, my goodness, that sounded very dramatic. Now all we're gonna do, I just dropped a plate on the floor, that's all it was, is use some dimensionals, a lot of dimensionals put this all together. So this little skinny part goes in the middle. Okay, and then I guess we'll use liquid glue right here for our stem. And then a little bit of glue right there for our little vine. It almost looks like a bow. Now on our basic white stitched rectangle. We are going to stamp, you are such a blessing, but do it on the right side, okay? Is that not straight? It is not straight, let's try it again. I did this yesterday too. My stamp needs to just go up a tiny bit on the right side. There we go. Good thing cardstock has two sides. One is practice, <laughs> and the other one is for the real thing. Um, oh, Carolyn, you broke your shoulder. Yikes, I'm so sorry to hear that. That sounds painful. All right, look, more gingham cottage, cottage gingham, early espresso mat a stitched rectangle cut from craft and we're going to do one two three that can go in the middle oh i threw that way over there more dimensionals for our pumpkin one two <laughs> lisa that's funny just noise it's just noise. A little dimensional there, and we'll put our little sign right there. Isn't that so cute? All right, let's see if our box is ready. That goes in there. That will fold over like that. And then we will put this on the front of this box. I don't want to flip it over because my glue is still wet. And there you go. My mail lady is going to get one of these next week. She has been working so hard for me 
today she ooh, i put that up a little bit high today i mean yesterday and today boy she she got all my club create kits and then today she got all of my class kits so she'll get a little pumpkin spice fig newton bar next week all right you guys that's it i hope you like this is my favorite project of the three but wait i've got a few more things to show you don't go yet i've got a few like swap cards to show you I got a bunch of swap cards, actually. If I can find them, they were sitting right here. Okay, here they are. I'm trying to be organized. The more organized I am, the less I can find things. All right, so this is from, oh my gosh, Tina. Tina Rapp. And I liked how she cut that out like that and popped it up. I thought that was pretty clever. All right, and look, that little stamp is in this stamp set and I didn't know what to do with it. And I love how she did that, very cute. All right, this one is from, oh, this is from Anne. She's on my team and I like how she did this. This slides off like that. And then, there. look, we all had the same idea to stamp those on the inside. I like that, that's a really fun, easy fun fold. I'll have pictures of these on my blog on Monday. Um, this one is from Joey. I like how it's just all black and white. Really cool. She used the black side of that DSP. Let's see this one. Oh, how come I can't figure out how to open it? This is really a cool fold too. This is from Mary Alice. Mary Alice is on my team. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I love that. Very, very cool, Mary Alice. All right, then we've got, this one is from Lisa Lemons. I did a big swap in the summer with other demos, and that's what most of these are from. Isn't that cute? She um, inked, and that was one thing I was gonna say, you can take like a sponge and ink these and it'll make that texture kind of pop out a little more. I love that with that paper. All right, this one is from Karen. Ooh, very pretty. I think that must be Rich Razzleberry. Wow, I would not have thought to do that color, but that is beautiful. Very pretty. Um, and then this last one is from Sue. And this was a fun fold too. Look how she did this. Boop. Look, that's cute little growing vine. So she has this um, stitched rectangle like to hold that in place to close that. I'm going to case that. I like that. Really cool. Okay, you guys, we made it. Now I can go take a nap. Thank you for joining me today. <laughs> um, remember, if you want uh, these make and takes, all you have to do is put in an order by Monday at midnight using this host code. I usually mail them out on Wednesday, the following week. And uh, if your order is over $150, don't use that host code because then you're gonna get free stamp and rewards and I will still send you the make and takes for free. You guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get out to a pumpkin patch this weekend. Think of me when you're at the pumpkin patch. <laughs> I'm gonna go look at those peanut pumpkins too. I'm so glad you guys joined me today. Thank you and I will see you next Friday. Ooh, next Friday is... Is it Halloween next Friday? Oh, no, it's the following Monday. Next next week is the 28th. All right, you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye.